Ever wondered why the polar regions are so cold? Well, let's take a frosty journey to the ends of the Earth, where we can find the answers in the icy expanses of the Arctic and Antarctica. These regions, known collectively as the polar regions, are situated at the extreme ends of our planet, as close to the poles as you can get. Imagine standing on top of the world, or at the very bottom. That's where you'd find yourself in these chilly realms. Now the Earth, as we know, tilts on its axis. This tilt, coupled with the round shape of our planet, means that sunlight has to travel a longer distance to reach the polar regions. And as the sunlight journeys towards the poles, it spreads out, decreasing its intensity. As a result, these regions receive less solar radiation. Less radiation equals less heat, and less heat, as you might guess, means colder temperatures. But wait, there's more to this frosty tale. The polar regions also experience what we call polar nights and polar days. During a polar night, the sun doesn't rise at all. Instead, the region is bathed in darkness 24-7. Imagine a night that lasts for months, a seemingly endless twilight. That's a polar night for you. On the flip side, there's the polar day, when the sun doesn't set at all. Instead, it circles the sky, bathing the region in constant daylight. You might think that this would warm things up, but remember, the sun is still at a low angle, spreading its rays over a larger area and providing less heat. So, the polar regions are perpetually cold due to their unique geographical positioning and sunlight exposure. Intriguing, isn't it? It's like Mother Nature designed her own natural refrigerator. But remember, these regions are more than just cold. They're home to a diverse array of life and play a crucial role in our planet's climate. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's just marvel at the icy beauty and chilling mysteries of the polar regions. Can you imagine living in a world covered in ice? Let's journey back to a time when the Earth looked quite different. It's a time known as the Ice Age, a period spanning millions of years when large parts of our planet were blanketed by sheets of ice. In the farthest reaches of the north and south, the polar ice caps and glaciers formed. These weren't just tiny icicles hanging from your roof, but colossal sheets of frozen water, some several miles thick. This ice, as chilling as it was, played a crucial role in the Earth's climate system. You see, ice has a high albedo, which is a fancy way of saying it's good at reflecting sunlight. In fact, it's so good that it sends about 80% of the sun's rays right back into space. So instead of absorbing the sun's heat, the ice caps keep the polar regions cool, acting like the Earth's air conditioner. But the effect of these icy behemoths isn't just localized to the polar regions. They have a far-reaching impact, influencing weather patterns across the globe. The cold air above the ice caps interacts with warmer air from the equator creating powerful winds and influencing the path of weather systems. And as these ice caps melt and retreat, they also contribute to changes in sea levels with potential consequences for coastal communities worldwide. So as you can see, these ice-covered landscapes aren't just beautiful to look at. They're also essential players in our planet's climate system. They've been shaping our world for millions of years. From the formation of the landscapes we see today, to the weather patterns we experience. It's a world of ice out there, shaping not only the polar regions, but also influencing weather globally. Have you ever thought about the kind of critters that live in such extreme conditions? We're in the realm of the polar bear now. This majestic beast is a true icon of the Arctic with its thick white coat and powerful frame. The polar bear is not just a pretty face though. It's a master of survival, equipped with some impressive adaptations that make life in Arctic possible. Their fur, for instance, isn't just for show. It's hollow and traps a layer of air for insulation, keeping them warm even in sub-zero temperatures. Their skin, underneath all that fur, is black, absorbing and retaining the sun's heat. Now let's turn our attention to the Arctic fox, a smaller creature, but no less impressive. These little guys change their fur color with the seasons, from snowy white in winter to brown in summer, providing perfect camouflage year-round. They've got thick fur on their paws too, which works like a pair of natural snowshoes. We can't forget about the stars of the Antarctic, the penguins. These flightless birds are champions of the cold, 
with a layer of blubber for insulation and feathers that lock together to create a waterproof shield. They're not just built for the cold, but for the water too, with streamlined bodies that make them excellent swimmers. And then there are the seals. Seals are uniquely adapted to life in the freezing waters of the polar regions. They have a thick layer of blubber that not only keeps them warm, but also provides energy when food is scarce. Their flippers, while awkward on land, make them agile swimmers capable of diving deep to hunt for food. These are just a few examples of the incredible wildlife that calls the polar regions home. Each one has its own set of adaptations that allow it to thrive in one of the harshest environments on Earth. They're more than just inhabitants of the poles, they're survivors. These creatures are the true survivors, thriving in the toughest environments on Earth. What happens when the ice begins to melt, you may ask? Well, let's take a closer look at the polar regions to get a clearer picture. The icy realms of the polar regions, the Arctic and Antarctic, are more than just a collection of icebergs and snow. They are complex ecosystems, home to unique wildlife and a crucial part of the Earth's climatic system. But these regions are currently facing an existential crisis. Climate change, the long-term alteration in average weather patterns, is having a profound impact on these icy expanses. The rise in global temperatures, a direct consequence of increased greenhouse gas emissions, is causing the ice in these regions to melt at an alarming rate. Now, you might be wondering why does this matter? After all, it's just ice, right? Well, not quite. You see, the ice in the polar regions plays a critical role in regulating the Earth's climate. It reflects sunlight back into space, helping to keep our planet cool. So, when this ice melts, it not only leads to rising sea levels, but also exacerbates global warming as less sunlight gets reflected back. And it's not just about the climate. The melting ice also poses a significant threat to the unique wildlife that calls these regions home. From the majestic polar bear in the Arctic to the emperor penguins in the Antarctic, many species depend on the ice for their survival. As their habitats shrink due to the ice melt, the survival of these species hangs in the balance. Moreover, the human communities that have lived in harmony with these environments for thousands of years are also at risk. Rising sea levels and changing weather patterns threaten their traditional ways of life, pushing them into an uncertain future. So the next time you think about the polar regions, remember this. They are not just distant icy landscapes. They are critical parts of our world, facing unprecedented challenges due to climate change. The polar regions are on the front line of climate change, their ice melt serving as a stark warning for the rest of the world. What does the future hold for these icy realms? As we peer into the crystal ball of climate science, we find ourselves confronted with a range of possibilities, each as chilling as the frosty landscapes we're discussing. The future of the polar regions is not written in stone, or should we say, not frozen in ice. It's fluid, much like the very ice sheets that are at the heart of this narrative. The warming world is causing these ice sheets to melt at an unprecedented rate, leading to rising sea levels and a host of other climatic changes. But what does this mean for the future? Imagine a polar region without its signature ice, a world where the North Pole is just open water in summer and Antarctica is a mere shadow of its former icy self. This isn't some dystopian fantasy, but a very real possibility if greenhouse gas emissions continue at their current rate. Yet the future is not all doom and gloom. We have the power to change course. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions is within our grasp. Every nation, every city, every individual has a part to play in this global effort. It's not just about saving the ice, but about preserving the health of our entire planet. Scientific research also plays a pivotal role in shaping the future of the polar regions. The data collected by researchers in these frosty frontiers helps us understand the pace and impact of climate change. This knowledge is invaluable in guiding our efforts to combat global warming and safeguard these icy realms. The future of the polar regions is uncertain, but what is clear is that their fate is intrinsically tied to the health of our entire planet. We're all in this together, and together we can ensure that the future of the poles 
is not a bleak, iceless landscape, but a thriving, icy wilderness that continues to captivate and inspire.